Did you know we're in the middle of a leap year? Of course you did, because we mentioned it at the beginning of the show when you watch every minute of the show. And here's the deal, this one is lucky in at least one respect. It actually adds an extra day to Black History Month. Yeah, and we were hoping to close the month of February the right way by honoring a true African-American hero. Jim Duffy of Secrets of the Eastern Shore is here to help us do that today with the story of Harriet Tubman's last miraculous mission. Happy Leap Day. Happy Leap Day. Happy <laughs> Leap Day. Thanks for having me. Always so good to see you. how many missions did Harriet Tubman actually do? 13 different times. Really? After making her own way to freedom, wow. she came back down to bring other people up to freedom. Total of 70-ish people. Wow. Now, one of the themes of all of these missions is um, family. Mm -hmm. When she was young, um, her family got kind of torn apart. Three of mm -hmm. her sisters were sold into slavery. She got separated from her father for a long time. And the historian Jean Humez has a wonderful way of describing how this affected young Harriet Tubman. She says that she was like the Humpty Dumpty child, always trying to put her family back together again. So a lot of these 13 missions were about family. And the one that I want to talk about, this very last 13th mission, um, started out um, with her trying to get her last sister named Rachel. She had gotten all the other siblings that she could and her parents, and she brought all of them north. There was one left. And unfortunately, this story starts in tragedy because when she got down there, she learned that Rachel had died. Oh. We don't know no. why. She was in her mid-30s. We don't know why. So it's snowing. It's December. Mm -hmm. She has nowhere to stay. She spends a night, this night of grief, like huddled against mm. a tree. The next morning, she just kind of rounded up some other people, even in the midst of this grief. So she wow. rounded up this couple, the Ennels, they have three children, two of them are real young. So she takes this family and she finds her way to an underground railroad station, knocks on the door, but the guy she expected to find is not there. Instead, there's a white guy, and she's like, well, what happened to my friend so-and-so? And he's like, oh, he got in all kinds of trouble for helping slaves uh, try to escape. So now she's in a real bind. It's a terrible time, all these people are on the road. She's lost contact with the Underground Railroad and she retreats into this marshland. By now the snow is freezing rain mm -hmm. and she has everybody wade across the water into this tuft of an island and they're just sitting there in the middle of the tall grass. And an hour goes by, three hours, six hours, almost a whole day. And she doesn't know what to do except for another theme in Harriet Tubman's life, which is pray. Um, and then this crazy thing happens. This guy appears on the mainland. He seems like he's nuts because he's walking this way, and then he turns around and he walks this way, and then he turns around and walks this way. Walks this, and Harry Thomas, like, mm -hmm. and she gets closer to the edge of the island so she can get closer, and she realizes that he's muttering to himself, just muttering, mm -hmm. lone guy back and forth. And she finally figures out what he's saying. There's a horse in my barn. The reins are there. There is a wagon. And he's repeating this over and over and over again. Hmm. What? Morning comes. She wades across. She leaves everybody else out on the island. She wades across. There's a horse in the barn. There's reins. They didn't have any food. There's food in the wagon. Everything is all ready for them. She never knew who this guy was. What? She really? said he was dressed like a Quaker. So they get in the wagon, they go, they find their way back onto the Underground Railroad track, and they all make it to freedom. What, what's most powerful to me in that, well, one of the most powerful things to me too, is that she did all of that, like you said, through grief. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. It's like the, one of the worst things that ever happened in her life. I can't believe it. And wow. she just like stood up and gathered up these people and let's go. Yeah. And miracles happen. Exactly. They Jim do. Duffy, Secrets <laughs> of the Eastern Shore. Thank you. Thank you.